Yo, what's going on guys? Uh, today we're going to be talking about our League Start Profits plan for Path of Exile 3.21 Crucible League. And really it's like one of my favorite videos to do every league. It means, it means my build's picked out, we're getting close to League Start, and I'm really starting to think about how I'm going to make currency the first day or two or three or week into the league and just jump into the game. So for me, I always jump, I get to like mapping probably about first day, um, and then we're really jumping into currency making and stuff like that in the second day. So it's important for me to get this out of the way. So I don't have to think about it. I can just start clicking buttons in the past to get going. So that's what we're talking about today and kind of my philosophy going with this. So my philosophy, I try to pick a build and mechanics I enjoy. If I pick one or both of those that I don't enjoy, but I heard they're good or I'm trying to go for max profit, I just end up not enjoying the game very much. And I'm fundamentally plays this game like a lot. So not enjoying it and playing a lot is not good for me. So for me, it's pick a build, then pick some mechanics that I think I like and are also synergized well with that build for good profit. Um, some builds are better than others at certain mechanics. I think that's important to remember. So you'll see that some builds are really good at single target, some builds are good at uh, AOE, some builds are good at controlling an area, some builds are good at zipping around the map. So you really got to figure out your, like you got to recognize what build you have chosen and what it can and cannot do well. That's different for everybody. I'll be going over what my build does well here and what I can do to profit off of that. So we're going to progress. The other um, philosophy I have is that I like to progress towards items of value to me specifically in my build. So you'll see that in some of the selections I've made that maybe they're not the best profit, but they are the best for me as I will have the most fun. And you know, this is the last note of my philosophy is playing purely for max profit is not a good, good way to start a league. I think, I think this is how you get burned out quickly and end up quitting in three days. Some people really enjoy that. They want the most currency in the game. That's cool. Good for you. If you like that, but I think a lot of people, if they do that, they end up playing a build they don't like, they end up doing mechanics they don't like, they end up getting really bored, they end up in trade all the time instead of just playing and building out their character. My priorities. I'm going to go over basically top down what my priorities are for my passive tree league start and just kind of why and what I think of them. Step one is the most easy map progression. This is the most important thing in the game. I need to get all my Atlas points and you get my Void Stones. This is top priority for me, number one overall. The only difference this league, I'm gonna try to like try to avoid the Kirak mission nodes in the middle of the map. I'll be over my POE planner at the end of this, so stick around for that. But Kirak missions in the middle of the map have been pretty underwhelming for me in the leagues past. Just not super interested in them this league. They're great for they can be really good for early progression. They can roll pretty bad and be useless. So you don't get your scout or any parts to drop either. Not that great. Anyways, map progression's king early, and it's super easy to respec out of map progression nodes, so it's just a no-brainer. Second for me here, this is a bit of an interesting one, not one that I've really gone hard into early in leagues. I've, I've tried later, but it's going to be Abyss. Uh, minion builds need Abyss items. I'm playing Absolution as my league starter, so I'm going to need a bunch of uh, Abyssal Jewels, Darkness and Throne. So... Historically, I don't think I've ever bought an Abyssal Jewel that like has been rolled already. I can craft them pretty easily myself. So that's going to be one of my goals, get all my like Ghastly Eye Jewels. And then I really want to get a well-rolled Darkness Enthroned early. It got reworked so it can roll up to 100% increased effect. I want to get in that like 95 to 100% range. So just having Abyss every map and trying to get that is good. And last thing I hear, good Abyss Jewels. I'm going to spec into the 5 or 6 mod... Abyss Jewel node, so you have like 20% chance they can drop 5 or 6 Corrupted. If you can get like, for me, it's going to be like Life, Minion, 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 on a, on a Jewel, I'm set to go. Slap that into a Darkness and Throne, off to the races. Uh, next priority for me on my passive tree is blocking bad mechanics. This is one of the best things I think they've ever had in Path of Exile's ability to block mechanics, and then you get increased chance of the other mechanics, so it's awesome. This is like a super important place where you gotta think about your build and what you and you like to do. So I know like my build is not super good at zipping around the map. So this like rules out like delirium for me. Legion's not great because the minions don't always attack the right guys. And just stuff like that is really figuring out your build and what you get done. So the other things I'm gonna look at blocking are ritual and legion. Ritual I just don't particularly enjoy. There's not very good loot out of it. Nothing that would help my build at least. And I'm blocking metamorph just because again nothing I really out of it. The Metamorph uh, Catalysts are nice. Not super necessary early in the league, though. 
Uh, next priority for me is Expedition. I love Expedition. It's easily my favorite mechanic in the game. It'll be, it's on the right side of the tree. Pretty much everything I'm going for is the right side of the tree. Expedition's great. Um, my actual favorite part of Expedition is rod crafting. Just sitting in my house crafting some rod stuff. It was probably one of my best early currency makers last week, rod crafting and selling. So rod crafting is a great way to get some really good just base loot and get a bunch of tier 1 mods. And get just some really good good base gear to get you going for your defenses and rolling early. But you can also sell that really good stuff early. Rog's, uh, Rog has an interesting like price curve. He starts off really strong, like all his gear is like way up here. And this like starts getting way, but it'll fall off really hard. So the trick with Rog crafting for profit is to like underprice yourself a little bit. Underprice so you can get out because it's just going down as the league progresses in price. <clears throat> uh, next up, Essence. Essence is super good early. Um, it's really good all league. We have Essence on Kyrick map mod this league, so you can put it on every map. I think it's like two extra for three chaos. I didn't look at close, so I just saw it was back this league. So Essences will fall off in value a little bit, just because there's going to be so many more. Like, they're really expensive last league. They won't be quite that expensive, but they're still super strong, as basically every good craft starts with a good Essence now. So very good for your gear crafting, just a great thing to have. And then next we have Strongbox. I had some points left over. Strongbox is right next to everything else. Just slap it in. It's easy to add to any tree. It's easy panic to understand. It tells you all the map, all the mods on a box. So if you get the like identified corrupted rare passive node, only trick to strong box adding is to make sure you're freezing an early uh, Brian King Pantheon. Easy way to do that. Next up we have Bossing. This is my like favorite currency maker. It's not like a league start currency maker because technically you have to like get to the end of end of maps basically. But this. But collecting and selling boss currency and fragments early is extremely lucrative. Like, if you're if you're there before most other people, you just buy and sell, and you're good to go. Or do the map, sell your stuff, you're good to go. You can just sell conquer maps. Doing like conquer maps and selling stuff from them is like super good early, crazy good. With the right build, good early progression. This is by far the best way to make money in currency path of the hill. I know it's super debatable. Like, probably like running five ways is the best way to make currency path of XL, but. It's, that's not fun to me. So if you have a build that can do bosses, I do recommend trying to get to uh, bossing as quickly as possible. All right. We will wrap it up here with my PoE planner for my Atlas tree. It's super simple. I got the, you know, the generic guy with the arms, smiley face. That's uh, really what you're looking for. If, I, if you see a, a tree that starts otherwise, it's probably not going to be good for map progression. For me, it's straight up the middle. Map nodes, map nodes. Block some stuff, grab Abyss, grab some Abyss, grab some more Abyss. I'm going over this quickly because it's not super interesting, but this is like a tried and true method of just getting good stuff early. I run this tree for a similar version of it for a few leagues. Um, grab my Expedition, we're all just like clustered together, it's just grabbing stuff. Get to the middle here. It's really important to get this this pack here, this pack here, and this pack here for your map progression. And then these are my big abyss ones. This abyss node right here in particular, abyss monsters you have to grant 50% increase in experience and spawn 50% more monsters. It is crazy for leveling progression early. Highly, highly recommend it if you are going to do abyss at all. And then. Pretty self-explanatory here. I'll leave a link down in the description of what I'm doing, but you know, make sure to customize this for yourself. It's very important to understand what you like to do and don't just follow somebody else with this or else you're probably gonna have a bad time. That being said, thanks for watching. Remember to click like, comment, subscribe down below and let me know what you're doing for League Start. What you think is gonna be profitable or what you think is gonna be fun. All right, catch you next time.